Well, uh, before I kind of take some questions today, just wanted to let you know a couple of things. And that is uh, that, as I said earlier, I'm here to help you. So I'm actually an example to you of somebody who makes a living playing the guitar. I don't do anything else but play the guitar to make a living and to fulfill what I think is my destiny. And, uh, and I see a lot of young people playing today who, and I already see their destiny is to play. And this is a great thing. Um, and and by, by that statement of I'm an example of someone who makes a living playing the guitar, I, I want to tell you uh, many things about it, but I'm, I'm a person who lives in the real world. I don't sit around and collect royalty checks and drive my Ferrari. I don't do that. I get out and I play and work for a living. I put my children through school and college in England and buy a house for them and feed them and like every other parent uh, uh, father does for, for their family. Um, and I do that playing the guitar. So the bottom line is this, I better have it together. Amen? <laughs> because the people are depending on me. So I better have it together. So the other thing I wanted to say was that I'm also an example to you of somebody who has lived, who is living his dream. When I was much younger than everybody in this room, by the time I was six years old, I was already a professional. I was already playing concerts. I was already on TV. It's hard to imagine because when I saw my children at six years old, I said, how can little kids do this? How is it possible? It's our destiny. That's what it is. And um, so my, my start in my musical life was very different. There were no guitar teachers. There were no guitar schools. There were no internet. There was no digital technology. There was none of that stuff. In fact, in the first 12 years of my guitar playing, I only found two Chet Atkins albums in the whole of Australia, two. And I wore them out in, in a couple of weeks. They were no good uh, because I wore them out, listening to them and trying to work out. That was my only source of, uh, of uh, uh, way of being inspired to, to play. And my brother and I, we learned how to play songs by listening to the radio and quickly working out the structure of the song. We found how the song worked, and then my brother said the chords, this is how the chords go. Now, and then he would work out the melody, and we would play the song that night. You know, we, we made the arrangement quickly, and that's how we learned a bit about the guitar and how music works. And uh, so, the reason I'm telling you this is because you, in this, we, in this generation, we have an incredible opportunity because we can uh, see everything that we need to see to learn how to play. We have no excuses. We have everything at our fingertips to help us. But, uh, and it doesn't really matter how much technology and how much technique you can learn. The bottom line is, is that each and every one of us in this room all have the same desire. And we want to feel something real. We want to feel something uh, music in music that moves us and that makes us feel great. And I'm very glad about that. Otherwise, I have no job. <laughs> so I never learned to read music and I never had lessons. Every day I have lessons from, I got some lessons when, the, when you were playing on the stage here. I looked, I stole a couple of licks there. So, this is, a, the music gets handed on uh, from, from me to you and you back to me in a different way. It's really, really wonderful. Now, um, I just want to um, uh, encourage you that um, 
there's a lot of information and there's a lot of uh, opinions uh, in the world about the, f the fact that uh, um, the economies around the world are bad and there's no work and all that kind of stuff. Well, um, I think it's a big mistake for people to tell, uh, especially young people who really want to play music, that there's no work for them. That's not true. There's always work for musicians. There's work everywhere. It's up to you to be willing to work and to, and to find it. When somebody says to me, how do, I, how do I get noticed? How do I get noticed? And the answer is simple, get good. If you're good, we'll all notice you because someone will put a video of you up on the internet and we'll all send it to each other. And all of a sudden, we all know you. So get good. That's the bottom line. That's the straight answer. Get good, get some good material, get your playing together, get your presentation together. It's so important.